Hello everybody, this is Mike and Stefan from Chicken Wings and uh, today we're going to show you how we're going to get from this to this by simply adding sunglasses but without ending up uh, uh, with a mic drawing of Chuck um, which as you can tell doesn't quite look uh, how we like to see it online so Jeff Stefan is going to show you how to draw a Chuck Yes, in a we're, quick way. We're not going to go all the way to uh, the color version. I just uh, will just show you how to do it in, in black and white. Um, first, pencil, paper, of course. Then you have to work out the anatomy of a chicken, which uh, some people would say something like this. Other people would disagree. Maybe it's a bit too a bit too small. Well, we'll see. Head, body, feet. Then. On the head, you need to add the the beak, the mouth, sunglasses. Then I usually draw the how do you call it the shape of the head and put the skull. Yeah. Yeah. Five spikes on top. If you scroll back on the video, then uh, the real chicken also has five spikes. I guess that's possibly where that came from. We walked past that chicken coop. Um, walking home from school for many many years and maybe it was part of the the reason why chicken wings chickens aviation and uh, us ending up with chickens in aviation was just meant to be so that's good enough as a sketch for me at least then I start out with a big fat pen and draw the big outlines first and to me what I always go wrong is I never draw the skull so I think it's important you draw the skull line with a pencil first, otherwise your comb ends up looking all funny like my comb and then that's not quite where you want it to be. <clears throat> there you go, big fat outlines, this pen is already giving up on life. It's... Oh yeah, buy a good pen, there's another hint. Buy many good pens can get a little bit expensive but uh, yeah then I work my way down with uh, smaller, smaller and smaller pens and what I usually do is um, I try to when I tried when I started out drawing comics I, I've, I've noticed like the, sh the, the, the stroke sometimes ending in, in like getting thinner and stuff and that's because like real comic artists work with uh, brushes and pens that have like um, soft tips and I didn't know how to do it so I just started out with big fat pens and then working my way down to um, smaller pens, finer pens to kind of mimic the effect and that's what I'm still doing 20 years later so I don't know, whatever works for you if you can um, draw with brushes I envy you because I can't but yeah, see and then I take an even finer pen and fill in the details. Which you may or may not want to do depending on um, how much of a perfectionist you are. Yeah. Exactly. So if you're not a perfectionist, you can stop the video right there. <laughs> and uh, if you are, I guess it's important to know that there's no gaps left if you want to fill this in with color like we do. Hell yeah, in Photoshop, if you want yeah. to use the selection tool, ex uh, for example, to use to f uh, select the area of the pants, then you have to close the shape in order for the selection tool to work well. But that's only if you color. We just want to draw yeah. a chuck, impress your friends and draw a chuck, I guess. Yeah. You can this stop is... the video. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we're almost done. Um, there's, it's not perfect. Usually I scan it and then I fix all the minor mistakes in Photoshop. But yeah. There you go. So this is uh, how to draw a chuck. Stay tuned for how to draw Julio and uh, Maybe we'll give you another one about coloring and how else, uh, what else happens before uh, you see that strip online or uh, in stores. Thanks for watching. Bye.